evolution is one of the greatest ideas ever conceived. It explains so much of our nature at the genetic level. If you look at the eye of an octopus and our eyes, they're like incredibly similar. The mysterious thing is that we split from the cephalopods before eyes were invented at all. And somehow, in this infinite library of possible genomes that they explore independently, it looks incredibly similar. I'm trying to understand what are the constraints limiting the designs that organisms can explore. Once we understand the constraints in the evolutionary process, we can start gaining understanding in what life is, why it is the way it is. Then we can design better strategies to avoid evolutionary outcomes that we don't want, such as superbugs with tons of resistance for many antibiotics. My PhD ended up being in genetic programs in bacteria. I wanted to know how do they live in their world sense the environment and respond to it. What are the actual physical mechanisms for that decision to take place? For the pivot, I really wanted to zoom out. That's one out of 6,000 genes that my microorganism now has. Let's just think about all of them working together. I really want to see the global features of, of, of the behavior of the system. I think different from traditional evolutionary biologists because I'm not an evolutionary biologist. My first approach to biology was through the lens of physics. To, you know, write the equations first, make a prediction, have a quantitative hypothesis of what we should observe in the, in the data. It's just a very systematic way of finding progressively better solutions to a problem. So, how is it that a bacteria or any microorganism that has a network of, of interactions, infinite potential at the genetic level to find ways to survive, what is it that they end up looking shockingly similar? Just by questioning the, the, the fundamental assumptions of, of the field, the hope is that my training in this more like physics-like quantitative thinking can bring something new to this question of convergent evolution and why it happens in the first place. But, you know, that's to be determined. <laughs> you can never predict what's going to be the discovery that is going to change the world. You can come up with a solution to a problem from unexpected places. I'm just like uh, this curious kid that never forgot that asking questions is okay. <laughs>